Josh Jamelli and we're back in the workshop for another workshop tip thanks to Farming Ahead magazine and here at Forbes Machinery Warehouse. And today I thought we might talk about thread sealants. And we're starting with uh, thread tape or Teflon tape. It's called Teflon tape because it's got Teflon in it. Now all thread tapes are not created equal. You tend to use reams and reams of this stuff when you're working with uh, poly or brass or galvanised fittings. This is uh, your good old cheap Vegito tape. Um, it's very thin, so you need reams and reams of this stuff. When you're buying the stuff, maybe look out for a large roll of something that's a little bit higher quality. Uh, this stuff here is actually quite a lot thicker. So, you know, you don't need as many turns to do the same job. Pretty straightforward, say on a piece of poly, face the end of the fitting, start near the end of the pipe and you just go clockwise like so important to get it on the right way otherwise it will unwind as you try to tighten the fitting and bare minimum on a small fitting uh, like this inch pipe you want six turns or so i always go you know a few more pull it off and uh there you go if i was screwing this into a metal fitting uh, like a brass female fitting or galvanized fitting uh, I would certainly put a lot more tape on it than I've done there. There are a few different types of tape. If you've ever seen the pink tape, that's not a bad one to go for. That's kind of like an industrial tape, very thick. Uh, it's for water once again, so don't confuse that uh, uh, for another material. It's a uh, Teflon tape for water. The yellow stuff, however, is suitable for gas, gas and LPG. So. That's the stuff to use on your gas fittings. And look, there are some other options these days. Uh, this Loctite 55 uh, comes in a container, it's a bit like a, a large dental floss. Um, and it's essentially a rope, and you wrap it around, it's pretty good for metal fittings, and you just wrap it around the fitting, like so. It's quite easy to use, given that you don't have to kind of get it all tangled up with the tape. You don't have to sit in the threads either, so you can just kind of wind it on haphazardly like I've done there, like so, and then when you're done, uh, you just cut it off like that. Uh, once again, it's got Teflon in it. Incidentally, the idea behind having Teflon uh, in the tape and the rope, uh, these fittings, they're all, uh, say, BSPT tapered threads, and so they rely on a tapered male thread going into a parallel female thread. Now, by putting the tape on, not only does it fill in some of the surface imperfections, but it also reduces the friction in the fitting as you tighten it, allows you to tighten it more tightly and get a better seal. And uh, look, this is one that we found uh, a while back. I haven't seen this before. Looks like a chapstick, but it's actually a thread sealant as well. Uh, it's actually pretty good for the glove box, uh, you know, in the ute or uh, in your, in your uh, toolbox. Just rub it on like that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it seals hydraulics as well. And uh, look, we'll look at uh, liquid sealants in our next instalment. Thanks for watching.